Hi guys, welcome to A Touch of Film. I hope everyone is well uh, with these current times that we're living in. Uh, with the coronavirus, I hope everyone is safe, uh, taking care of each other and their families. My thoughts and prayers are with everyone right now. Um, it's really starting to hit Europe. Um, in the UK, we're under lockdown, so I've been working from home. I've not really been doing many videos recently, but I will be getting back more into it. And you'll probably slowly start to see me looking like a caveman because everything is shut, like barber shops. So you will see this transition of me into a werewolf in the next few weeks. So yeah, uh, back to the video. Um, today I'm doing a movie review of a film that uh, it's been one of my most anticipated movies since it's been announced. It is Simon Lang's Days. Now, Simon Lang is one of my favourite directors. I met him last year um, when he was showing um, Lights and Faces. And uh, this is his first narrated film since 2013 when he released Stray Dogs. Um, whilst I'm really excited that he's uh, doing a narrated film... That does not take away from what he's released since then. <clears throat> I mean, um, if you saw my review of Lights, I was so excited. I, I, I loved that film. It was a wonderful piece of art. And it really shows what sort of a director he is. He's a very visual director. And just it, the, 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 the keen eye he has to visuals is just wonderful. Um, now, back to Days. Days is a very minimal film. Uh, we have two characters in it. It's set in Bangkok. Now, Sheng, uh, Li Kang Sheng's character, who plays in this film, um, who's in pretty much every Simon Lang film, uh, he plays a middle-aged man who lives on his own. And we're introduced to him um, in this like long, like, six seven minute scene where he's just sitting there uh in front of a glass pane uh, looking out into his garden and we see like from little elements of droplets of rain uh uh in front of him to heavy rainfall and it's just such a beautiful intimate scene and i think it just it really shows it really sets up the film uh quite well um and he travels to Thailand uh, from here due to like a, a neck back pain that he's been getting to receive acupuncture, but a very like obscure form of acupuncture that I've never seen before where it's like got uh, charcoal on it, like to add heat to it. And um, ve do you know the, the sea? This really reminded me of uh, The River, which is another Simon Ming Lang film where Lee Kang Sheng's character throughout the whole film has like a headache and a neck pain um but yeah uh from there we uh we also see another character which th at this time haven't hasn't interacted with sheng's character where he uh played by uh, if i say his name correctly anong hung hong si uh he's a thai actor in his first film role uh Anong's character is a much more poorer um, character and, and we're introduced to him in much more poorer surroundings. He's um, just there like uh, preparing food for a meal. And uh, the two characters don't meet till an hour into the film. But um, the, 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 the thing about Simon Lang's like... Uh, long takes they really build this intimate portrait of each of the characters um like the whole this long scene where we're like long take of seeing a uh, anong's character preparing food or sheng's character in pain uh getting you this treatment and you just and and there's not a lot there's hardly any dialogue in this film there's no subtitles um the only uh, sort of dialogue we see at the beginning is uh, uh, Sheng's like murs of pain, uh, murmuring like uh, to to the, the, the his uh, his uh, therapist, and it it it's, it really does build 
to his situation as well as an old uh, life. Um, and these characters don't meet till, like I said, an hour into the movie when they meet in a hotel in this very intimate scene. Now, uh, I did show talk about similarities with the river. Now, the river has a a sex scene in it, which is how should I say? It's it's got no romance to it. It's a very sleazy and dark scene. It's, it's a scene that really stays with you uh, when you finish watching the film. This, uh, on the other hand, is much more intimate, more romance. There is there's more between the characters than what we have seen in the river. Uh, I like, okay, the river has that. Uh, similarity with this film with Sheng's character being in pain but uh, this is very this this scene is it's, it's very very much like a, a proper romance um, uh, and you really see that in the interaction between uh, Sheng and Anong um, the the um, the cinematography in this film, um, which we see throughout uh, with the long takes and, and the, 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 the shots are just absolutely beautiful. Um, and I think um, the, 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 the long takes really don't just give an aesthetic view, but they, like I said, they do set up these characters and we do learn a lot about these characters from these long takes. Um, and after the the a meeting of these two characters, we do see uh, more about their relationship rather than, here you go, this, this moment between them and that's it. There, there is so much that builds in this. Um, Lee Kang Sheng just gives a a charming performance in this, and uh, Anong's character, whilst I, I, uh, he's young, um, very much to like a uh, a more you do feel for this character. I mean, his life, and and I think it really does show in the initial scenes. Uh, and it's just a, a wonderful, charming film. Uh, the film won the it's a Teddy Award at the Berlin Film Festival, uh, which is uh, the jury prize for the Teddy Award, which is an LGBT award given at the, the ceremony, uh, which is... A, an amazing award and I'm hoping I was hoping uh, that Simon Lang will get some recognition for this film in the film festivals to come um, which I don't know now with what's going on in the world if we will see any of the film festivals going on and or taking you know uh, taking account of what's going on if they'll be cancelled or what have you but it is a wonderful work piece of work from him um and i it's one of it's it's one of my favorites of his films that i've seen um and i just you know i hope to see him release more films uh sooner rather than take bigger breaks uh like he has like seven years to do from uh, Stray Dogs to now, but like I said, he did do those wonderful pieces in between. He also did a virtual reality film, uh, which was shown uh, at the Taiwanese Film Festival in London last year, um, but I don't know where else you could see it. Um, but to do a piece like this with no dialogue at all, uh, the film starts off with, uh, right at the opening credits it says this film has uh intentionally not uh placed any subtitles in it so that's just at first i was like whoa okay what am i gonna understand here but 
yeah, you understand everything. It's a silent movie, but a wonderful, beautiful piece of work. Um, if you've seen the movie, comment below. If you plan to see the movie, comment below. Uh, click like, hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot of things coming up soon. I've got another Blu-ray competition, which I'm doing with Bud Blue. Uh, there's more titles for you to pick from, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, till then, guys, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.